about the coat of arms of Ghana? Do you know the names and meanings of each symbol that makes up the coat of arms of Ghana? Do you also know what it means to the country? My name is Derek Kinkum and today we are delving into the coat of arms of Ghana. We are dismantling it and look at it one after the other. The names and the meanings of each symbol that make up the coat of arms of Ghana. First of all, the coat of arms of Ghana was designed by a Ghanaian artist called Ni Amon Kote, introduced in 4th March 1957, just before Ghana attained its independence. The coat of arms is composed of a shield divided into four quarters by a green St. George's cross rimmed with gold. The first quarter on the upper left shows a ceremonial sword used by chiefs and a language staff. It symbolizes the traditional authority of Ghana or the local administration. The second quarter on the upper right shows the heraldic Osu castle on the sea, the presidential palace on the Gulf of Guinea. It symbolizes the national government. The third quarter of the shell shows a cacao tree that embodies the agricultural world of Ghana. The fourth quarter shows a gold mine which represents the mineral world of Ghana. The lion centered in the green St. George's cross with gold fibration and a field of blue represent the continual link between Ghana and the Commonwealth of Nations. The crest is the black star of Africa with gold outline upon a toss in the national colors. Supporting the shield are two golden tawny eagles with the order of the Black Star of Ghana suspended from their necks. Order of the Black Star of Ghana is the highest award given by the government to an individual who has helped the country one way or the other. The compartment upon which the supporters stand is composed of grassy field under which the school bears the national motto of Ghana, freedom and justice. The shield stands for a weapon which helps to fight poverty, ignorance, and hunger. With this, you now know what the coat of arms is made of. The coat of arms is found on all official letters of government, which symbolizes government sanction. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Eric Nkou, and I'll be here with another exciting episode about the warrior king, Ghana. Kindly subscribe to our channel and connect with us on all our social media platforms.